Hi, everybody. Ready? Stand by. Three. And action. Okay. Um, so our project is, uh, we made an app called Health News Now, and uh, this is a healthcare app that allows you to register for local news alerts for illnesses that you care about. So one of the things that we were, to, we were discussing was um, the CDC has a lot of things about the coronavirus, but they weren't really updating them. And there are a lot of these news reports where you hear about confirmed cases, so wouldn't it be good if you could get some information about illnesses you care about or things that may be potential dangers that you can get um, that you can get sent to your phone. So you come to the application and register, and it'll ask you for your to sign up with your name, phone number, and then the region that you care about. So in this case, he's going to put my number, which is uh, 602. 602-586-6240. Yep. And then he is going to enter a city here, which is in this case will be Kansas, because I want to see what's going on. So once I proceed to sign up, you'll see that there are some known illnesses that I can pick. And these were the ones that we've pretty much found from the CDC's website. There's, for some reason, they categorize vaping lung disease as an uh, illness, which I don't quite know why since it's self-inflicted, but uh, it's there. So uh, we will pick a, a few illnesses. In this case, we'll uh, maybe pick uh, the coronavirus in this case. And once I submit, what happens is that I will say, I will create a user profile, I will go ahead and create a, um, an account with my topics that I'm interested in, and then we will also use Avaya's uh, CPAS to send SMS me messages, and right now my phone is receiving a lot of messages, and it will uh, I'm getting notifications saying, thank you for signing up for Health News Now, here's an update on the cor coronavirus, and it's giving me a link to the article showing me what's uh, happening. So it's taking me to a Google News article, that I can then see that there's a per possible coronavirus uh, update in Lawrence, Kansas, and health officials are investigating. So it's an easy way for us to keep uh, keep it informed. Yeah, basically, just text you these links and the titles. So we also have we also have the like uh, page that will always have your, your latest alerts for your user. So um, in terms, this is very very uh, bare bones. Used uh, Google's Cloud's um, uh, APIs. We also used the Google Cloud's Data Store, Firestore, to be able to store the user information. Uh, things that we would like to do later would be to use things like Dialogflow to be able to parse, um, to have commands so you can turn these things off, these alerts on or off. Because maybe you don't necessarily want to receive alerts all the time and freak yourself out. Um, we just didn't get to it in the, in the time. So Andrew's going to be able to send himself some as well. Any questions? That was excellent, right. guys. Well Thank done. You.